Hey, scrapbook friends, it's Nicole, and I'm here with the December 2022 new product release from Creative Memories. This is the very last collection that Creative Memories will be launching for this year, 2022. And I keep thinking of that little thing we used to say as kids, last the best of all the game. I love, love this silver and gold collection. Um, when we had a sneak preview of this with a paper buffet a few months ago, and so I've kind of known it was coming, but it's better than I hoped. Um, and I, I hope you will think so too. So I do have to apologize starting out. There is an album. It's a silver metallic shimmer. It doesn't have any design on the front, it's just a plain album with the silver metallic book cloth. But I purchased this as part of the December deals promotion that CM was doing. And it was a madhouse. If you tried to order at one of those December deals launches, you know it was a madhouse. The website kept crashing. And I wanted to order this and get it shipped with two-day shipping. And I just forgot to order the album. It is very pretty. Just shimmery silver. I have one coming. If you're local, you can look at it in person. Um, if you want to see it, you know, message me or email me or something through my NicoleScrapbooks.com website. I can send you a picture. You know, if you really want me to, I'll do a super speedy video just to show that album. But trust me, it's just a beautiful silver shimmery. Be perfect for a wedding, a 25th wedding anniversary, retirement party, military, any of those things. But without the album, just the collection can go into any album, of course. And I'm going to start with what I love. And this is this accent paper pack that has foil on it. So it's got the actual metallic shimmer. We've seen foil on other products. One of the things I love about this, we've had foiled papers before, but they've always just been six in a pack. And this time we get the full 12 sheet paper pack with the foil on um, half of them. So basically one side of them is foiled. So, well, I guess, let's see, one, two, three, four, fives. Hmm. Okay, I don't know how many are foiled. We're gonna look at the foiled paper and see see what it looks like. Looks like this one is foiled on both sides. Maybe that's gold shimmer. That would be awesome. Okay, so here we go with the foil. And I think we get two each. So this is a white paper with the, this kind of brocade design in the foil. The back is just a colored gold stripe, like a watercolor stripe. Here's another one with foil. This looks like silver foil. Stars, falling stars. That would be super cute for New Year's. Could also be snowflakes. All right, hard to see the foil, but trust me, that is metallic foil. And then the back is that same kind of brocade. And you know me and Disney, this is so Haunted Mansion. All right, okay, here's this one. And it's kind of uh, just an all of our texture. It's almost uh, like a snake skin or a leather pattern in this foil. And the back are little polka dots. And it's kind of this gold mustardy color. This side is not foiled, but it looks very, you know, it complements very well with that foiled side. We have one with a little silver leaf. So that's a fun little foiled design with the silver leaf. The back, a little flower. And of course, we have some plaid. You know how CM feels about plaid. This is obviously not the shimmer side. Oh, I guess neither side of this one is shimmered. So it must be eight of them that are shimmered. One, two, three, four. Yep, yeah, eight of them that are shimmered and two that are not going to be shimmered. All right. This one I actually really like. No shimmer, but it's this little chevron made of lines. And then the back is just a little tiny, very neutral design. When you're not close to it, you know, you can barely see that there's a design. You can almost use that for a solid. So th these are the same papers just in, you know, they just didn't put them together like they usually do. So I showed you all of these. One, two, three, four. I'm sorry, I should have looked that up before I started the video. Four of them, so eight. Um, there are six, six double-sided designs. You get two of each. And so... Um, four, meaning eight papers, have the foil, two gold, two silver, and then the other two are just complementary um, patterns that go with with the foiled, with this black and, the silver and gold. I want to call it black and white, even though it's not black and white. And you will notice that the designer paper comes packaged with a piece of chipboard to keep it nice and sturdy. So when you get your package, 
it might feel a little bit heavier and that's just to give the support. This is great chipboard for all sorts of projects. If you haven't seen my how to make a little display easel to hold up like your project recipe or something, this is a great thing to do with this. But I always save my chipboard because I find lots of uses for it. All right. In addition to the designer accent paper, we have just a tone on tone paper pack. So this one doesn't have the foil. Now the foiled paper is a bit more expensive than the tone on tone. It's probably the most expensive paper pack we've had. In the past, like I said, we only got one of each. And so the the foil paper packs were $8. This one is 16, but the tone on tone is our regular $10 US. And it's gonna be some very similar patterns. We've got that same stripe. This one's gray. And there are those, those haunted mansion wallpapers. I'm sure that this is like some expensive, you know, royalty pattern, but all I can think of is Disney. All right, we have some little checks. And it's like not exactly, I mean, it's not, it's little dots. My phone is not wanting to focus, there you go. And then the back is this, these little arrows. It almost looks like a basket weave design, and then you get up close and it's kind of got that little arrow texture in it. So that's this one. Here's another one that's little squares. It's a little different design. Almost looks like um, squashed Cheerios. This one is not metallic. It's, um, it almost looks like glitter paper or cork board or cardboard. I don't know, it's very pretty. I like this one a lot. I think I like this side better than that side, but lots of these would be great if you do any of like the fold over pages. Here's that same arrow design, but on a light. Not the same, I guess, polka dots. When I get up close, I see way better than I do without my glasses from far away. Little dots. All right, if you haven't done your COVID album yet, you could totally get away with calling these coronaviruses. Unless we're sick of hearing about coronaviruses, which I know we are. All right, so that's the front and back of this one. Not a lot of contrast on this one. I kind of don't love that. So I'd, you wouldn't want to use both sides of that, like for one of Noreen Smith's one, two, three sketches or something. I wouldn't use that one because it doesn't have the contrast. Here's just some big diamonds. I like this one. And little lines, almost looks like bookshelves. I kind of like these together. You know, I wouldn't do the front and back together. I wish they would have put these, like these front and backs together, but they don't ask me. All right, and then the last one, we got another chevron. Kind of hand-drawn. And then the yellow circles, little dot circles. I love that one. And these two, I think, would go good front and back if you wanted to do a fold-over page. All right, so that's the tone-on-tone -tone paper. And then we have the matte pack. And the matte pack also has foil, and I don't know if that's why. I, I don't usually show you packaging, but... This one comes in the Ziploc bag. Usually our matte packs are shrink wrapped. So when I show them to you, I have to open the packaging. This one comes in the Ziploc bag. And I love that because then you can, um, you know, open it and put it back in the packaging to store it. So as always, we have 24 mats. 12 of them are four and a half by six and a half. And 12 of them are four by six. The smaller ones do tend to have kind of more sayings on them, artwork. And the other ones are more for mats. So here we go. Oh, one of these days, you know I'm going to get it right. All right, those are those little chevrons. Little leaves. And I'm not seeing metallic on these. That's pretty. Family fun. Perfect for this time of year. Some suns. There's another. Oh, this one has foil. Look. And that one would go with, did that one have foil too? Hmm, tricky. One of them has foil and one of them does not. Interesting, there's the chevrons again. Oh, and these suns have foil. So you got the other suns with no foil. Kind of a look like a little bit brighter yellow even, and then those have foil. This little archway one. Just a circle, I like that one with the little hearts. There's the same archway. Obviously we like archways for this um, design. Little triangles, not foiled. Here we go, come on. 
All right. There are more arches. Worth the wait. This would be great for like a graduation, especially like a, maybe a graduate school or somebody that went back to school late. Oh, and this one's metallic on the other side, so I'd probably try to use it that way. And then one more of these little circles. Oh, this one has the metallic. So you kind of get two of the same design and some are metallic and, and some are not, but they would coordinate well together on a page. So those are the four by sixes. And of course you can then use the um, four and a half by six and a halfs as a mat for a photo or for, you know, these other mats. So here we go. Let's see what kind of foil we've got. These are just some little lines, not foiled and another little archway. And I was actually thinking this might be really cool if you took this half circle and I just had my ruler. Here we go. And used the, so this is almost, this is like five and seven eighths. You could use the circle maker and cut a circle and put it, you know, in here. I may do that at the end of the video. So if I remember, I'll do that in the video. We'll see what it looks like with this one. But there's a couple of these with these archways that I thought that could be a kind of a cool look. So there's the black circle. I wonder how it would look like this. Hmm, I don't know that I love it. But we got this. So you get the stripe. Um, on the circle and the stripe on the back. So we'll probably have a black one. Here's, this is almost like a little animal print. And there's the black, there you go. All right, here we got foil, foil haunted mansion. There's the animal print. Oh, I love this one. This is, this feels very New Year's Eve to me or graduation, birthday party, turning 50, one of those things. Another half circle with the haunted mansion. Little half circle with the equal signs. There's the dots that are not foiled. So you have the foil silver on this, but then the other one is just, you know, coordinating. Some little mini archways. This goes like that. You want the hearts to go in the right direction. Little speckles. Oh, I like that one. Metallic. Ooh, more little hearts. More little archways. These are interesting um, journal boxes, I think. I like, I like the direction. I think if I were to use this with a photo, um, I might tuck it up right next to the photo to do my journaling or even tuck it under, you know, cut this apart and put my journaling so it's kind of hiding underneath. So I kind of like that. Okay. This one is that same kind of chevron, but a little bit, a little bit different because they put the little dots in the middle, almost little eyeballs, black and white stripe. There's that same one. Don't those kind of look like little eyeballs. <laughs> and then this one just has a metallic frame. So I'm going to pull this out, this one out, I guess, and leave it right here. And hopefully I will remember at the end to um, go play with the circle. That way, if you're not interested, you can sign off. So those are the mats. And then we have the embellishments. And I think this time we have 20, 20 embellishments. I should have the packaging for this one too. Um, 22 layered foiled 22 layer die cuts and 10 of them are foiled. So we have a butterfly that has some foil in it, little leaves, a flower, the presents cute, make a toast. Joyfully, none of these, oh, that one, no, none of these seem to have foil. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing is that these two sheets of embellishments are not foiled. They're just printed. And then these two are foiled. So you get one that's with gold foil and one that's with silver foil. All right. And they're packaging them in these cool um, little cutout plastic pieces. I don't know if you can see that. So you don't get that gummy stuff on the back. You know, they used to put those little glue dot things on it and... Now they don't. They just kind of tuck them in here into the packaging. So I like that. So those are the foiled, layered foiled embellishments. Foiled and layered. I don't remember what order they put them in. but And then we have the border stickers. And it's the silver and gold foiled border stickers. And again, lots of bling and foil on these. All, almost all of them. So we've got two of the suns. Arrows are not foiled. These little hexagons. And they look a little different because they're... You know, they leave a little uh, border, but there's the little diamonds. I guess they don't look like hexagons once you punch them out. 
We've got some little polka dot flowers, with do, which do have the foil. So there's the flower shape. Then these little kind of arch frame borders. I think those would be really cute on either side of a layout. Some not foiled little chevrons. Cute. The leaves, the Le gray leaves don't look like they're foiled, but they're kind of ombre. So see how they start out dark and then they get lighter and go dark. The hearts have a little tiny foil in the middle. The heart is, the inside gold heart is foiled. And then the chevrons are all foily. Foily, is that foily a word? Anyway, there you go. Those are the um, border stickers, the silver and gold border stickers. And then we have two sets of ABC stickers. We have the gold script and the silver script. So, and you look at, look how many E's you get. That's nice to get a lot of E's, lots of vowels. I mean, there's never enough E's, but you know, you get all the numbers. Perfect for like New Year's Eve or birthday. So I love, I love the E's of border stickers. If you've watched my, my, um, videos, you know that I, my album flip through videos, you know, I tend to do, um, Cricut because I run out of E's usually, but there's something super fast about border stickers. And I love it when there's enough of the vowels that I need. Okay, so finally we have two punches. We have the Damask Flourish Frame Punch. I love, love the frame punches. Um, and then we have the Baroque Chain Border Maker. So I'm going to talk about the, uh, the Damask... Um, frame punch first. I will, if I remember, I will link in the comments to uh, the video, a couple of videos I've done using other frame punches, but I actually have for the first time in literally months, I think since August, I have a relatively free weekend with no travel and no scrapbooking events. So my goal is in the next couple of days to do a video just with the Damask frame punch and show you some of these things that how to do some of these things. But of course, you can use a frame punch as a regular border punch. And that's what I did here. And I used the black shimmer on this one because I love the shimmer papers. And I think it goes really nicely with this. But isn't that a beautiful, beautiful design? And it's pretty big. It's a pretty big design. Let's see how tall that is. So one and one and a half inches tall for that design. So it's very dramatic and bold. So that's just cutting it as a border. You can of course cut it as a frame. I started this one with a six by eight piece of cardstock, any even number piece of cardstock bigger than four by four. So what I'd hoped is that I could use this as a, um, as a photo frame for a four by six photo. So I cut a piece of black cardstock uh, black shimmer. This is a four by six photo. So it, yes, it works kind of as a frame, but you lose some of that um, decorative edge. So this is a three and a half by five and a half. And I think that one looks better. Um, you'd have to kind of play around with it. But of course, you could do this all the way around your paper and I'll show all those things. And then I also show, uh, I also played with, and this is the bronze shimmer. I wish we had gold shimmer, you guys. They had it in the December deals and it literally sold out in two minutes. Two minutes it sold out. So it's not something we can get. And I've requested that they add it to a regular product line. But this is the bronze shimmer. Um, I don't know that I love it with this paper pack. Um, we could pull it out and look, but it just kind of doesn't doesn't quite go with with the gold. I mean it almost goes. It goes with some of them, but um, the black shimmer I really liked, but this is one where I just did the mirrored punch and I cut this started with a three and a quarter inch strip. So if you want to do the, um, the double sided three and a quarter inch was the strip that I wanted. This one I started with a three inch strip and I did the offset. And again, I'll show these in my video, my next video that I do about the damask uh, flourish punch. This is the offset and I love, love this look. And I love being able to do it like this. When you do the, put the frame punch side next to the, um, the regular punch side. Let's see if I can cover this up so you get a better idea of how this will look. Um, you know, you could do this as a border as well. 
All right, see how that goes together as kind of a, an interlocking border. When you do, we punch one of them with the frame side and one of them with the border side. So all these things I will, I will show you how to do, or it's the same technique as I'm gonna link in my geometric frame punch video. So that's the damask flourish. I looked it up, it's dam damask. I always wanna say damask, but that's not, it's not, I don't know, words are hard. Damask flourish um, frame punch. And then we have the Baroque chain border maker cartridge. I really like this one. It's a bit bigger design in person than I thought it was going to be. It's a nice, um, I don't wanna say hefty, that's not really the right word, but it's almost an inch wide. So it's a nice, substantial, sturdy design. And I think that will, you know, just by itself, I think it, it stands alone and looks really nice. So again, I did it in bronze shimmer and I did it in the black shimmer. And I'll play around with this one too to see what, what kind of fun things we can do as far as if we punch through some folded paper and get some double-sided. That gives a pretty neat look. Be like this, it almost looks like hearts. So that could be cool even for like a wedding page almost with the hearts. So that's the uh, Baroque, bro Brocade, sorry, I called it Baroque twice. Brocade chain border maker cartridge. All right, and then the last thing I have to show you is the Shades of Silver and Gold. And you might recognize this because this was the paper pack that was in the paper buffet a few months back that was kind of a spoiler. You know, we had Shades of Happy Haunting, Shades of Seasonal Sightings, Shades of Polar Lights, and Shades of Silver and Gold were the only ones that were collections we hadn't already seen. So it was kind of a spoiler. Back then, you could just purchase this paper pack. Now, the only way to get this paper pack is free when you buy the silver and gold buy it all bundle. So everything I just showed you, except the ABCs, comes in the bundle. The two paper packs, the mats, the embellishments, the border stickers, and the two punches, when you purchase that as a bundle, $121 US, you get the Shades of Silver and Gold designer paper pack as a bonus while supplies last on this. The, the bundles are not, you know, permanent. They don't last forever. Um, but when, as long as the supplies last on this one, uh, they will add this to the bundle when you buy the whole, the whole thing. So I've already showed this one, but I don't remember, so you probably don't remember. So got this little kind of half circle. They're really liking kind of this stripe. I guess I didn't talk to you about these. Little swirly dots and little chevron that looks kind of like tire tracks to me. And then the stripe and the little half circles. This one looks kind of tribal to me. Animal Kingdom Africa, anybody? And then little polka dots. Front and back. I love the big polka dots. Again, kind of um, you know, zoo-like. I mean, it's not really like a zoo print, but, and then these little hexagons, again, feel kind of tribal to me. You know, elephants, this will go great on an elephant page. This last one just looks like, um, kind of, not last one, textured paper. Sorry, I can't count. Almost looks like it's got some shimmer in it, but it doesn't. But it really looks like it could be shimmery. And then these are just little like bigger than polka dots, a little more like little confetti. And then this is the last one with this little stripe, kind of bamboo almost. And then the watercolor one. Of all of these shades of paper packs, I really love the, um, I really love this watercolory paper. And a lot of people have told me the same thing. So to go along with this, I talked a little bit about the, the shimmer colors. I love the shimmer paper. I really wish they would give us more of it. Um, and like I said, I have written in with a product suggestion asking them to give us more, but I wanted to bring out some of our um, existing shimmer papers so that we can look at them with these metallic, I guess we could look at it with all, all of the papers. So these are the, these are the designer papers that have the metallic and these are our four existing shimmer. We have a white shimmer too, maybe I need to grab that one. So the black shimmer for sure, I think goes with these. You know, they all have some, they don't all, but they have lots of black in them. Even if you do the, like the silver leaves and you want a little bit extra shimmer, I think the black shimmer would go nicely with that. This is the bronze shimmer. I'm not 100% sure. It kind of goes with this chevron. 
actually quite, it goes quite well with this chevron. Um, but I don't know how I feel about it with the, the gold. Uh, you know, I think that works. If you want more of the shimmer, this is the bronze shimmer with that. Um, and then we have the platinum shimmer, which obviously should go with the, um, the silver metallic. And we also have autumn hay shimmer. Now, if you buy the autumn hay shimmer, be aware that for whatever reason, this cardstock is really thick. Be very careful using it like in one of our more intricate punches. I think it would work fine with the brocade chain, brocade, brocade chain, not Baroque, brocade chain. I think it would work fine with something that's kind of sturdy like this one, but I would be hesitant to use it with the delicate one like this one. And don't drop them just because um, whenever we got these really intricate ones, if this gets bent out of shape even a little bit, it will stop working. So don't, uh, I wouldn't use the thick cardstock, but this would also go, I think, if you wanted a little bit more of that shimmer and you wanted maybe a little bit lighter. Eh, not my favorite. I think I do like the bronze better. Mm, so maybe not the autumn hay shimmer. Oh, looks all right with the autumn hay shimmer. Of course, maybe that's too shimmery for you. So there you go. Those are all the new products from December 2022. Um, I do want to talk a minute about the December deals. Um, if you have been following the December deals, you know that we were supposed to get a, um, a new product drop on Friday the 9th and Monday the 12th. And if you tried to order on the... Uh, whatever that day was, the 28th of November and the 5th of December, we broke the website, you guys. We crashed it. It was just a nightmare. It was just absolute chaos. People were very, very unhappy to not get the things that they wanted. And so Creative Memories is not going to be doing a customer new product drop on Friday the 9th or Monday the 12th, like they originally said. They are going to be offering some things to advisors with a pretty strict limit of five items. So I don't even know how to make that work. I don't know how to be fair. I've had several people already messaging me about some of the things they've heard about that are coming. I just don't know what I'm going to be able to get and how I'm going to decide then who who gets it. Stay tuned. If I have if I'm able to get some extra stuff, I may be able to offer that for sale, but it may just be that those are things that I use for door prizes or retreat gifts or something like that. So, you know, Sorry, and thanks for understanding. And I think Creative Memories wanted to do something fun and exciting with the December deals. And instead, it turned into something frustrating. And, you know, we'll see. We'll see if they do it again. Okay, so if you're still with me, I am going to do what I was thinking about with the um, cutting a circle to go in here. And I'm going to, I measured it before, and I think we came up with five and three quarters as being a good size. I think that's too... That's a little bit bigger than I would want it to be. I think I'm gonna go with a five and a five and a half. Uh, five and a half, drat. Let's go with five and a half just because that's an easy number to do. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the I'm using this piece. Let's use one of those shimmers that I just had and I put over my pile. All right, we'll use the bronze shimmer because I think that will go with this line, all right. And I'm going to use my circle maker, and I'm not going to use the post-it note hack, but you totally could use the post-it note hack if you wanted to. So what I say, five, five and three quarters, except that the the circle maker doesn't do three quarters. So I'm going to do 5.6. That's more than five and a half, but not quite. And I love the circle cutter because... You can cut any size pretty much between three, almost three and almost 12 inches. And one of the tips, if you're not using the, the little positioning piece, which I showed in my hack, my hack video, circle maker hack video. So this is a little positioning piece, makes it super fast. But this little piece right here that looks like the top of a push pen shows you kind of where on the paper your, your edge is gonna line up. So I like to just kind of put it on here and see. Of course you wanna use the self-healing mat under this because it is a blade. So that, the little pen piece is still on the paper and here it's, oh, I can slide it down quite a bit here. I'm gonna slide it all the way down right here so I can make the most of my paper. All right, and then I'm gonna cut 
my circle that's 5.6 inches. All right, so here's the circle. And I have not practiced this ahead of time, you guys. This is just an experiment. But, and that looks kind of cool. Although I kind of wish I would have gone out straight. So I don't know, maybe I don't want that. But I think that looks pretty neat to, to cut with the circle and to put that in here if you wanted to use this as a mat for a circular thing or not. Maybe that was a, one of those things that we tried and we decided we don't like. But that's kind of cool, actually. I kind of like the the way that that looks. So that's using the circle cutter and you can look for my circle cutter hack if you want to see more about how to use that tool. So that's it. Thank you for um, watching my videos. I Some of you have asked me about when I'm going to be doing a an album flip through. You'll be happy to know that I have an album that I have. I only have to do journaling on three pages and then the album is done. So like I say, this weekend, blissfully free, um, it is the Creative Memories virtual crop, so I do hope to participate some in the virtual crop and finish up that album, and I may pull out some of my older albums that have been done for a while and try to get a couple more album flip-throughs because I have had several comments asking about that, which I appreciate. I'm glad you like them. So thanks a lot. Thanks for watching about the Silver and Gold collection. Um, I hope that you will enjoy using it. You'll think of lots of fun ways to use these very pretty papers especially the metallic ones. You guys know those are my favorite. So anyway, that's it. Thanks very much for watching and happy scrapbooking.